Hey guys, I hope you're keeping safe during these tough times. So it's been a little over a month since I got the M1 MacBook Air and I have been using extensively for my notes, for streaming, for video editing and you know, stuff of that sort. Um, and this video, I wanted to test out my pen tablet. So this is a XPS Deco 10 with 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity. So I connected it. Let's see how it works. I have connected the pen tablet to the Mac with the USB-C adapter and I'm trying to move the stylus over the tablet but the cursor is not moving an inch. So I'm guessing this is a driver issue. Let's head up to their website. So I just googled pen tablet drivers Deco 10 and this is their website. I'm gonna go with the Mac 10.10.11 So currently M1 ships with Big Sur So I'm gonna go with this, I'm gonna download this So they also have a PDF which has directions on you know how to install the software You have to drag this, you got a lot launch pad Yada 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 um, Let's do it ourselves, so agree and then I have to drag this into applications. Open pen tablet. And then something else, something else. Open all of them. What is this guy saying next? Open system preferences and then... Okay. I'm still trying to move the stylus. It's not moving. So let's see. Okay, so I will have to give the stylus control over my system. So let's see if it works now. Yes, I'm trying to move with the stylus and it's moving already. So what else are we supposed to do? The screen opens and reboot your Mac one last time. Okay, let's try without rebooting and see if it works. If the pressure sensitivity and all those things. Um, I'm not going to do anything here, disable pen pressure, etc, etc, so I'm just drawing some lines, but uh, the pressure doesn't seem to work. I, no matter how hard I use, it's still, okay, if I make it soft, then it's coming out darker. I mean, it, it's supposed to be that way, but uh, there is no change in pressure. So even if I use a lot of force on the tablet, the darkness of the pencil, it's not, it's not increasing, it's not changing. So I'm guessing I'll have to give it a restart. Let's give it a restart and then check out how it works. And we are back in order to sketch after the reboot. Uh, I'll quickly go to pen tablet setting. I'll probably uncheck the disable pen pressure box, which I checked in before. And, um, and then let's go back to see i mean i'm able to move the stylus on the screen but let me draw something the pressure is still the same guys i am trying to add a lot of pressure in fact um, i i think beyond this pressure if i apply the nib is gonna break but there seems to be no difference in the pressure or the darkness on screen with this um, stylus. I don't know if it's something to do with the stylus itself, to with the tablet, with the drivers, or maybe ordered a sketchbook, something, something with the M1. I don't know, uh, but I have to tell you that this is this may not be a bummer for everybody because not everyone is an artist and they don't really need pressure sensitivity on their um, pen tablets. For me, it's just making notes on this. So that is why I use it. And I don't need pressure sensitivity at all. But if you are an artist and you need to have the difference in pressure, then I strongly recommend that you um, make sure that there is some way you get this to work with your Macs before you go ahead and make the purchase, either M1 Mac or the pen tablet. So. 
I hope you found this informative. Uh, thank you so very much for watching. Have a lovely day ahead. Peace.